And now it's time for the incredible bonus show of the Noob Corner with the host who doesn't like Bearded Sloth's nickname, Holy Bookworm! Hello everyone and welcome to the Noob Corner. I am your host, Holy Bookworm! I'm so glad you're here. Let's jump right into this week's topic. It's going to get a little messy, folks, because this week we're talking about dirt. I bet you don't know this, but dirt is one of the most common blocks to find in the game of Minecraft. You can walk across it. It's, it's just about everywhere. It's really exciting, actually. It can be mined using any item, including your hands, but it's fastest with a shovel. Fun fact there. Coarse dirt and rooted dirt needs a hoe, so make sure you take note of that if you want to mine that. There are several variations of dirt in the game, including dirt, farmland, podzel, dirt path, mycelium, coarse dirt, and rooted dirt. When dirt blocks get enough sunlight, grass grows on them to become grass blocks. Fascinating. Mycelium is the rarest, only found in the mushroom biome. So it's not something you'll find everywhere, but kind of cool. Dirt paths are common in villages, but you can make them too. To get a dirt path, you use a shovel and you use your alternative action from the one you use to get the dirt block. You use the opposite action. So like with the controller, it's the left trigger. With the mouse, it's a right click. Good thing for you to know there. And they're really cool to make a dirt path, by the way. I think that's the, one of the neatest paths that you can make is actually a dirt path, in my opinion. Coarse dirt can be crafted using two dirt blocks and two gravel blocks. It's also naturally found in giant taiga tree variants and savanna biomes. Podzel is found in giant tree taigas and bamboo jungles. That's cool. I like bamboo. It's also something you can find with watering, watering, wandering traders. If you find a wandering trader wandering around, you can get some podzel from them. Farmland is made by using a hoe on a dirt block, grass block, or dirt path. Then you place water, a water source, within four blocks from it, and then you can grow stuff and create a farm and have farmland. I love farming in Minecraft, so that's one of my favorite things. Rooted dirt is found under azalea trees. Fun fact for you. Dirt in Minecraft. Didn't know how messy this show was going to be, did you? Okay, so we talk about dirt. It's very messy. I know. Something interesting, right? We get rain in Minecraft, but it doesn't make the dirt turn into mud. And I've always thought that'd be kind of fun for a certain kind of dirt to be made into mud when it rained. Don't know if Minecraft could do that. I just thought that'd be cool. Dirt is a great practical way to use it for basic building stuff. When I first started Minecraft, because I am the ultimate noob, I used dirt blocks to make my first house. And I left it as a dirt house for quite a significant amount of time before I realized I could use other blocks to do things with. But if that's all you have, a little dirt house, you can make a nice little hut with that. And it actually looks kind of cute. <laughs> See, a building 101 tip there. Very nice, right? Dirt is very is is fun and very easy. It's interesting though. In the real world, you couldn't I mean really build a house with dirt. I mean you can compact dirt, but I don't, I don't know if it would work as well as that. I mean I I guess you can compact it kind of like you do with sand to make a sand castle sort of. Probably a basic idea like that. Okay, now for everybody's favorite part. It is Holy Bookworm's pun of the week. I asked my dog what 2 minus 2 was. He said nothing. (laughs) Doggone it, I thought that was a great pun. Aw, you guys make me feel so sad. All right, thank you all for listening. Be sure to check out theblockpartymc.com for more Minecraft-related content and how you can support us. We hope you all had a blessed Christmas and have a wonderful new year.